Our workers are busy all over this nation providing critical infrastructure support for their employers and the public. At one time, unions like CWA represented 35% of America's labor force. These days, less than 12% of workers are unionized. How could that happen when organized labor and collective bargaining are the only way to assure workers a living wage, job protections, and fair work rules? It's no mystery. The assault on America's labor force started in the Supreme Court. Corrupt decisions like Buckley v. Vallejo and Citizens United open the political floodgates. Dirty money shapes public policy. It allows the super-rich and big corporations to use legalized bribery to get what they want at your expense. The fact is, corporations are not mentioned in our Constitution or our Bill of Rights. No legislation has ever passed in Congress giving corporations anything like human rights. Corporate personhood and money as speech are baseless constructs that began with the corruption of our highest court. Corporations do not have human rights. They are not people. By law, they should be accountable to the people. And money is not speech. A big bank account does not come with permission to roll over the rest of us. Every citizen should have the right to organize. Every worker deserves a decent wage and protection from employer abuse. We need to amend our Constitution. We need a citizen's amendment that says simply and unambiguously, corporations are not people and money is not speech. There is no better way to restore of, by, and for the people than this. I support a constitutional amendment. Our union supports it. So should you. Join the resistance. Stop the dirty money and influence in our politics. You want a better world? This is how you get it.